Right now, health officials are pushing you to stay up to date on your COVID-19 vaccines, including new booster recommendations for certain people. So we did reach out to some local experts to get the latest info on the future of vaccines. Plus, we're learning more about where we stand with the effort to get younger kids vaccinated. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joining us live in Tampa with the latest update here. Larissa. Well, this renewed vaccine push comes as researchers begin to see a rise in COVID-19 cases once again, and they say it's important people stay protected right now. Right now, I think it's very important for people who are eligible to go get that second booster shot. The CDC's latest recommendations say that anyone 50 and older who is fully vaccinated and already had one booster shot can receive another dose of either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine as long as it's been four months since their last booster. So four shots total for anyone over the age of 50. For everyone else, doctors tell us an additional booster isn't needed yet, but it might be in a few months. Right now, scientists are looking to update the COVID-19 vaccine recipe to potentially be ready for cold and flu season in the fall and winter. Experts say in the future it's possible we won't need a booster shot every few months anymore, but rather on an annual basis. For now, though, health officials say people need to stay protected until we get to that point. There was a study out of Israel that showed that the uh, fourth shot among people over the age of 60 did uh, dramatically reduce the amount of hospitalizations and death uh, down about 75% from uh, people who had been vaccinated and gotten only a single boost versus the two boosts. What we have seen with our own internal data at TGH is that people start to decline their antibody levels after that, even that third booster, the older they are. As some people become eligible for additional booster shots, the CDC reports more than 18 million children under the age of five are still waiting for a vaccine. Moderna has some public data on two doses for younger children. And Pfizer is still working on theirs. Pfizer recently said it's hoping to have the vaccine vaccine for younger kids available this summer by June. In the meantime, doctors say the best way to protect kids who can't get vaccinated yet is to have adults stay up to date on their vaccines. So for those of us who are over the age of 50, it probably makes sense to go ahead and get that uh, second boost because uh, I can pretty much guarantee you it's not going to hurt you. And we will, of course, continue to keep you updated on this developing story on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News. Larissa, thank you. Going in depth now on that topic of vaccinations, newly updated data shows that many Americans still have not received their COVID-19 booster shot. The CDC reports more than 100 million Americans received their first booster, but about half of those eligible have not received one yet. Currently, only about 85,000 people a day are getting a booster. The good news is two thirds of the people in the age group most at risk for COVID-19 complications, those 65 and older, have received their booster.